Thank you, Brad. My name is Andrew Leidick. I am the on-site park manager at Shikalimi State Park. And Shikalimi State Park is a park complex. It also includes Milton State Park and Susquehanna State Park. And along with those locations, we also operate and manage the inflatable dam located in Sunbury. And this dam is located about a mile downriver from the primary confluence of the Susquehanna River. So to make an initial summary of the current inflatable dam project, um, the, Adam, the Adam T. Bauer Memorial Dam is an inflatable dam, and it is comprised of seven eight-foot-tall inflatable airbags, totaling 2,100 feet long across the Susquehanna River. And most of the bags are 300 feet long each, and that includes bag six, which is the topic of today. Bag six was scheduled to be replaced this past fall of 2021. But due to unfavorable conditions, the replacement project has been postponed until river and weather conditions allow work to resume later in 2022. Lake Augusta cannot be filled to its summer pool without the new bag six installed. Furthermore, Shikalemi State Park marina docks and boat ramp docks will not be installed for the 2022 season. And this is due to the river located there around the state park um, being susceptible to the natural river levels until the dam can be um, properly repaired. So boating will still be an option in the Lake Augusta area. However, that stable lake depth that we have traditionally had will not be there until this project is complete. Depending on the project timeline, a partial boating season may occur with Lake Augusta a full pool late in the season. And this is what we are hoping for, that we will be able to still provide a some sort of an official boating season once the project is fully complete later this summer. Bag six replacement. The existing bags suffered damage in 2019 from multiple high water events that required emergency repairs. Any locals in the area you may remember that in 2019, that did evolve a shortened season then. And the picture that you see here in the slide is actually one of the wear and tear marks that formed into um, a hole, about a two foot long gash in the rubber bag. And inspections revealed premature wear and tear and it necessitated the bag's replacement. Planning was initiated for fall 2021 to complete the replacement. And this was due to the early wear and tear. And you'll see in further slides that this is not the only wear and tear gash that the bag had. This past fall of 2021, site prep work did begin in late August 2021 on schedule. The Augusta and Shikolami State Park ended the marina season on September 7th, which is the day after Labor Day. In this early season, it was orchestrated over a year in advance, and this was to allow us to lower the dam so that we could begin the work that was required to replace bag number six. And the flashboards, which are the temporary coffer dam you see here in the picture, um, those were installed on schedule as well. Temporary flashboard coffer dam. Here are two great pictures of our hardworking crew installing the flashboard system. And you can see those aluminum I-beams. Those are placed into concrete pockets running along the spans of that concrete bay. And then we slide in timber beams, which we then layer plastic on the outside, and it creates a virtually watertight seal. And this is essential. We must hold back the river so then we can actually complete the work downstream, uh, directly replacing the bag that, that you see there. Temporary Causeway Road. It is an essential project component of replacing one of the bags on the inflatable dam. It's a rip wrapping gravel roadway needed to access the work site within the river. There's no way to get machinery such as the crane out to the work site on any bay that there may be along the dam unless we have a gravel pad and access road to to get there and the construction did begin on schedule mid-september however it was quickly delayed due to high river levels 
And this is one of the first in a series of high water events that we faced. Working with equipment is only permitted with the river conditions at nine and a half feet or under. So that is a full stop number that our crews have before they must abandon creating the causeway. Um, and it usually relies on us closely watching the river data uh, so we can gauge how deep the river is. Preparing for high water. In this picture, you can see our crew um, laying out some materials to do that emergency reinforcement of flashboards. This was one of the first uh, moments this past fall where they were calling for a high water event where we knew the river was on topple over the temporary flashboards. This flashboard system is not intended to withstand high water events that, that do topple over it. Um, and this past fall, it was pushed to its limits, I would say, more than any other bag replacement project. The old bag six was successfully removed. And here is what's in these two pictures. Um, we also have circled the wear and tear marks that occurred over the past few years for bag six. And even some of the challenges we had at the end of the boating season in August this past summer, it was due to these tears right here. Uh, air leaks horribly out of gashes this large. They are incredibly difficult to repair and it virtually was not possible. And this is what necessitated the entire uh, bag removal and reinstallation process with the new bag. Preparing for the new insole. The work conditions do have requirements. The Susquehanna River height must be at eight and a half feet or below for much of the work on the pad site to occur. Air temperatures at 55 degrees Fahrenheit or above are also required for the bonding agents and materials to cure properly. Also, low precipitation events required to accommodate permitted working conditions and river height conditions. If there is a high precipitation fall or season, usually that follows along high water events. And we need a stretch of time of really no high water events to complete this work. And this is what we faced this past fall. Here's a graph that shows river height data just below the inflatable dam there in Sunbury. It spans from early September to the end of November. And the blue line you see, the saw blue line, is the daily river height average, with each dot being the average per day. And then the orange line you see is where is what the maximum work site river height is allowed to be in order for us to complete the work. And this just goes to show it was definitely a wetter than average fall and we were faced with multiple high water events. Most specifically, you see three large peaks here in the graph. Those were, were all formal hurricane depressions or tropical storms that we faced. And on top of all of that, the linear trend of this entire past fall was only increasing river height. Uh, there was not a single window we had to fully complete the project this past fall. Here's a picture from one of those high water events. And you can see the river height far exceeding where it traditionally is. And it is toppling over the T wall construction and the concrete piers that we have between each bay. Here's a zoomed in picture of Bay 6 with the coffer dam installed during one of those high water events. And you can see a piece of debris that is hung up over one of flashboard sections. And this just goes to show the type of wear and tear and damage that the coffer dam takes during high water events. It was never intended to be toppled over by a river height and it created a, a hydraulic effect of debris circulating just downstream there from the coffer dam, and it was definitely an impressive sight to see.
Here's another picture from one of the high water events this past fall. And if there's any locals there in the Sunbury area, they'll recognize this as the Schmokin Dam Borough Park. And this here, right where the sign is, is traditionally a gravel parking lot, yet the water's receding over the shorelines. On top of all of this with high water levels, there's additional work found. During the removal of bag six, it was discovered that some of the clamping plates that came loose. And these clamping plates span across the entire concrete bay and is part of the system that seals in the bag tight to the infrastructure. River conditions became too high to fully evaluate their condition, however. They could only be discovered once we removed the old previous bag six. But the plates will be inspected and tested later this year when conditions allow us to get in there with the proper equipment and with a dry work site. Ending 2021. Dropping air temperatures and sustained high river conditions caused the postponement of the project. The temporary causeway was required to be removed as per the permit and its intention was never to weather throughout multiple seasons with ice conditions and with other high water events, um, we were forced to pull the causeway, as well as the temporary flashboard coffer dam. It was, it was moved before ice and high river conditions could threaten additional infrastructure damage. And that's most specifically those concrete pockets that those I-beams sit in to, that create the coffer dam. Uh, we cannot risk any ice damage bending or affecting that location at all. So we were forced to, to publish a press release on November 19th that was us officially stating that um, the project will be postponed until conditions are favorable this upcoming summer. Prior to and during the project this past fall, two tropical storms and tropical depression hit the region in a short period of time. They were Fred, Henry, and Ida. These three events set the stage for a wetter than average fall. And those were those three primary peaks that we saw in the graph earlier. Multiple attempts were made to keep the project going, but with high river levels, continued rainy weather, and dropping temperatures, DCNR was left with no alternative but to postpone the project. Continued work would have risked further damage to the dam infrastructure and river conditions were becoming a safety issue for workers. DCNR understands that this is disappointing news to the park visitors, local communities, and the boaters who use like Augusta. And myself as the on-site park manager, our maintenance supervisor, our maintenance crew, and everyone else that's on staff, um, this is the last thing we would ever want to happen. <laughs> and we are truly committed to completing this as soon as we can this upcoming summer. starting this next year. The new bag six is currently in storage and the project is ready to resume in 2022. So we are ready to go. DCNR will provide an updated construction schedule once further assessments have been made. Typically, the conditions will start to become favorable in July. This is when the river is historically lowest. New causeway and the coffer dam construction will start at the first opportunity of favorable river conditions and weather forecasts. Bearing no unforeseen circumstances, the estimated completion will be late summer 2022. While we don't anticipate being able to create like Augusta or the majority of this upcoming season, the project can be completed ahead of schedule. There is a slight chance of a short boating season in late summer and early fall with the Lega full pool. And this is this is our hope.